Alright, so today what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next lesson. Um, we will be working on lesson 20. So again, we're going to put our name, make sure it's your first and last, hour, whatever hour you're on, lesson 20. Um, and again, we're just setting it up like usual with example B. Um, you're going to notice that the lessons that we are doing um, so far, um, going into the very end of the third app, it's not necessarily doing new things, but adding some of the things that we've done in the past, and the problems are going to start becoming a little bit more difficult. So making sure that you know when to add an X, when to add a star, when to distribute, when to combine like terms, those types of things, those are going to be coming into play and the problem becomes more layered. <clears throat> so let's take a look at um, the app and lesson 20. Okay, so the problem is 3 star minus a negative 5 equals negative 2 plus 2 star. Okay, so you can go ahead and write that down. I'm going to go ahead and write it on my notes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this um, and we again we need to get all of the letters or the variables on one side and the numbers on the other. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take care of my stars. So I'm going to subtract or even before that I can do a chop chop because I got a double negative there. Now some kids when they have the negative negative they have a really hard time seeing that. So if you need to rewrite this, go ahead and do that with the plus five. If you can do it with the chop chop and see it as a positive, that's fine too. You do not need to do that step. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take care of our variables. So I'm gonna subtract two star from both sides. And I end up with star plus five equals negative two. Okay. And then I'm going to <clears throat> get the star by itself, so I'm going to subtract my 5, because again I want my star on one side and I want my numbers on the other. <clears throat> so star equals, and if I have a negative 2 and a negative 5, I end up with a negative 7. Remember, it's like two green cubes. Okay. I do not have to define what x is since... It is not in the problem and I don't need it for the check. However, it is not wrong to do that if you wish to do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my check. And again, when I do my check, I'm going to write the original problem. There's about five or six of you, you're still not writing this. Make sure you do that because the next step is like a substitution check. So I'm going to put my three down and I'm going to plug in my negative seven for star. Okay, and then order of operations says we multiply first. So I get negative 21 and I get negative 14 on the other side. Now, if you want to do the chop chop now, that's fine. If you wanted to do it ahead of that, <clears throat> that's fine also with the check. <clears throat> and I end up with negative 16 equals negative 16 and of course that's a check. Okay. Alright, let's go then and go down to the next example which is example C. And I'm going to go back to my app And the problem is 2x plus a negative 2 equals negative 12 plus 3x. And I'm going to go back to my app and write the problem. And now what I'm going to do is, again, I want my 
letters on one side, I want my numbers on the other. I think what I'm going to do is um, add two. I like to take care of my numbers sometimes first. Again, this is not the only way to do the problem. There's other ways. I get 2x equals, because these cancel, I get negative 10 plus 3x. Now, I could subtract x from each side, but the problem is if I do that, this side right here would end up being 0, and that might be kind of awkward. So I don't know if I would do that. Um, what I think I do right here is I would add a 3 star. Because remember, you can add stars and get them to explode. So I have 2x plus 3 star equals negative 10 plus 3x plus 3 star. Okay, and then again, I need to show that explosion on each side. There's uh, some of you, you're still not showing that step. Make sure that you show that step. And notice that I take care of one side at a time. So I showed the explosion on the right-hand side. Now I'm going to show the explosion on the left-hand side. So I end up with star equaling negative 10. And I also have x, which is 10. And 10, uh, x is actually in the problem. So I need to make sure that I show that step. Right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my check. I'm going to take out my x and I'm going to put in my 10. And granted, you don't have to define star, but since I use star in the problem, you really need to define star. Kind of depends on whether you use star in the problem or not. Then I'm going to multiply with order of operations. And I end up with 18 equals 18, and it's a check. Okay. And then remember that you put that in the problem in the app, the hands-on equations app, to make sure it's correct. Don't just assume it's correct. If you have questions, make sure that you contact me, either email me or come and see me in class.